What's up guys, GGB's good here, and you've tuned in to the first part of the week of Jigglypuff. If you haven't tuned in before, this is a three-part series for every character, where I take one character each week and do online matches 101 for glory in Super Smash Bros. Wii U. Today's character is obviously Jigglypuff, my probably least favorite Pokemon in this game. Definitely, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm not good with Jigglypuff. Gonna throw that out there right now. Um, but that doesn't mean Jigglypuff isn't a good character. It just means I suck with him. Obviously, Hungrybox, the king of Jigglypuff, um, did very well with Jigglypuff in, of course, a different game, Super Smash Bros. Melee, uh, during the Evo tournament this year. Um, but he definitely showcased how you should be using Jigglypuff. Um, there are a lot of... Jigglypuff is basically all about the aerials and totally getting it by smash moves like that, apparently. Wow. Jigglypuff's roll uh, dodge kind of sucks, so bear that in mind, I guess. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's go over Jigglypuff's moves. As I mentioned before, her aerials are pretty good. Um... But that's because Jigglypuff has five jumps, and they're all pretty good. Um, so, but that being said, her back air is really um, the stronger of them. Of course, in Melee, it came out pretty much instantly. In this game, uh, it does have a different startup. Wow. Okay, that worked out for me. Uh, but yeah, that being said, uh, her forward air is a double kick forward. Um, her back air is a sort of like a roundhouse kick back. Her down air is a little uh, tornado of kicks downward, and her up air, she actually punches. Um, don't expect me to win any games, <laughs> by the way. Uh, but, and she sort of punches up. But yeah, that, as you can see, um, her aerials can interrupt a lot of moves. But she's just not that fast on the ground. So you have to, um, use her jumps to your advantage. Because she's, well, of course she's a floaty character. Alright, dude. That works out for me. Um, she's a floaty character, but she can get around because she has five jumps pretty well. I mean, I think in melee she had better movement in the air. But that being said, and that's assuming that's a female Jigglypuff. It could be a male Jigglypuff, I think. I'm not sure if that's true. Someone get back to me on that. Anyways, her uh, smashes are pretty straightforward as well. They're, I think they're all... Her forward smash is a forward kick forward. Her down smash, she has a little twirl kick and hits on both sides of her at the same time. Um, and also, if you haven't tuned in before, I like to give everyone the best 2 out of 3 because you can totally beat... Uh, but yeah... She hits both at the same time, and her up smash is, um, you know, what it is. <laughs> uh, so let's talk about her um, special moves. As you can see, that's her... Uh, I don't even know if I can use it. That's called rest. <laughs> uh, that's her down B move. If you get it in the right... Uh, if you use it, I think, with well, within its hitbox, which is kind of very specific, um, then it's pretty much... Uh, I mean, it has incredible knockback, so... I mean, it can kill at pretty low percentages. So that's her down B. Her up B is Sing. Um, it doesn't really have much recovery. Um, and then her side B, I like... Uh, has pretty used to have I think you used to be able to recover with it in melee but I don't think you can do that anymore it's pretty much mega punch I would say if I had to call it a Pokemon move 
Um, yeah, and that's uh, her side B move. And then her neutral B move is roll out, if I had to call it. She basically, you can charge up the roll, and then um, she'll instantly go in the direction she's facing, but you can also turn it around. That was a good counter on his part. Um, yeah, that, so that's her moves, uh, or at least any of the useful ones anyways, except for Sing, and probably roll out, really. Uh, I guess her neutral uh, air is not a bad move, also. But yeah, as I was saying, her roll is not that good, she's not that fast on the ground. Uh, really, in order to use Jigglypuff well, you have to take to the skies. Um, and just totally understand the hitboxes on her um, on her aerials and when to use them and how to effectively use her jumps, which I do not know how to do any of. Yep, as you can see. And then I just got killed twice in a row. Ah, boy. Um, but yeah, that's that. So I'm going to go on and move on to the next uh, next guy. One on one. All right, we're going to use <laughs> Sleepy Hat Jigglypuff. But yeah, Jigglypuff, I mean, can be a fun character to use if you can pull off a couple rests. But the rest is a kind of an interesting... I mean, it was said um, in, during one, one of Hungrybox's matches um, by the commentator. It's an interesting mechanic because, I mean, the player knows uh, that they can easily be killed right after. Um, because Jigglypuff stays asleep for a while, pretty much long enough. Um, for for your opponent to spawn again and then uh, and then um, you know kill you pretty much this guy's pretty good with Meta Knight uh, so it's an interesting mechanic because you're essentially just trading kills um, in order to reset your uh, your health bar well, that's assuming that, uh, Jesus Christ, I cannot play this Jigglypuff, guys. I'm very sorry. Um, that's essentially saying that, um, assuming you, it's not your last kill, the last kill of your opponent, last stock on your opponent's hand. Get embodied. Oh my god, sorry. Gotta focus, guys. Gotta focus. But yeah, if you want to see how to play Jigglypuff, at least in Melee, I would definitely watch Hungrybox instead of me. I'm just doing this because I'm trying to play as all the characters. All of them! But Jigglypuff is certainly a strong character. I would say. Um, good, definitely good. Whoa, lag city. Um, definitely good at edge guarding because she has great recovery. She is some of the best recovery in the game. Um, also, Hungry Box was using a ledge camping, uh, I guess, strategy, which definitely wouldn't work in this game because you lose invincibility on the ledge after your second time you grab it. 
Ooh, that was good. So I wouldn't try using that in this game, but it certainly works in melee, I guess, or more or less. All right, so I've been defeated again. One on one. But there's no real surprises there, let's be honest. <laughs> okay. Okay, all right, all right, Meta Knight. Enough is enough. I think, I mean, maybe maybe they changed this or maybe, I mean, I never really use Jigglypuff in Melee, so I can't tell you. Uh, but it seemed to me that Hungrybox was able to, or all the Jigglypuff pros were able to um, Throw it a back air and then be able to jump after it without um, landing. But maybe that's just a pro thing <laughs> that I just don't know how to do. But I'd say all Jigglypuff has is her back air, which is really good. It has a lot of knockback, does some pretty good damage. Ooh, good kill, good kill. <laughs> I keep thinking Jigglypuff is Kirby, so I want to use her neutral B. <laughs> um, because it's just beneficial to do that as Kirby sometimes. Alright, this guy is just outplaying me. I, I cannot play as Jigglypuff well enough to maneuver around this guy. Also, I hope you guys were able to get into the Street Fighter V beta. I certainly wasn't. I know they're, I think they're going to extend it. Um, I mean, I have access to it, but I can't log into the servers because of one reason or another. But I heard that people were able to log into them, so I'm confused as to why I can't. Probably because they know I suck at Street Fighter. <laughs> they don't even want noobs to be playing the beta. I just want one kill. That's all I want. Give it to me! I'm still alive because I'm Jigglypuff. Damn. Spiked off the stage. Ah, oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna end this part of the week at Jigglypuff here because... Ah, so annoying. Because, ah, uh, so annoying, exactly. Um, so thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope, uh, whatever I said helped out, although there's no way it should because I suck with Jigglypuff. And go ahead and leave a thumbs up if you like the video. Go ahead and subscribe to me if you like me. And uh, tune in a couple days for the next part of the week of Jigglypuff. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace out.